Okay, this is a slow blues using half steps bar chords. Okay, we're using bar chords and we're playing, you know, up a half step. <clears throat> so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna play an A7. It's like a, a major bar chord up here on the fifth fret. <clears throat> bar on the fifth fret. I'm just lifting up my fourth finger. You can, you can also play it if you want to sound a little higher by putting your fourth finger on the second string eighth fret. I'm just going to use my first, second, and third fingers. I'm going to give it three down strums. Then I'm going to go up, up a half step to the B flat seven. I like playing these dominant sevens with blues because it sounds brighter. <coughs> Pardon me. So three strums on the A7, one on the B flat, which is on the sixth fret, back to the A7. Then we're gonna give a what I did is I making that that classic 50s shape there where I'm barring the first. Uh, Two strings on the fifth fret with my first finger. My third finger is on the third string. Seventh fret, full step bend with a down, down, up. On the third, down, second down string, that is, up, pick on the first string. So, then I put my third finger on the third string, seventh fret, give a vibrato on the third string fifth fret with my first finger. And I'm gonna play twice the seventh fret on the fourth string with my third finger. So that's gonna go. Down, down, up. And you can play it down, down if you want. Keeping the downs there as well. That looks like that okay looks just like that so these symbols up here of course that means down down and then up and the fingering is right underneath there so i i call these a7 first uh position bar chords there's a wonder because in some of the circles uh and especially the way that i was taught it's a first position bar chord uh, when you're playing Barring all six strings. I know there's different positions on the neck, but just, just to separate the two, the two major types of bar chords, where you're barring the first six strings or the first five, first five being second position. So here that here's that here is that uh, that look again. A7 down strum, the B7. Then you're gonna play the exact same progression on the fifth fret, the A7, to the sixth fret, back to the A7. Now you're gonna make this shape. Looks like an open F, but you're playing it. So your first finger is barring the first two uh, strings on the fifth fret. So it's an F shape, but it's an A. And then we're gonna play down, 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 up, ninth fret, 12th fret, 17th fret. So that's going to sound like this. That 
that's on the second line right there. So that is the A. You write that down, you're making an A. We'll call it an F open shape, okay? F open shape right there. And I'll play it one more time so you can pick that up. Same progression, fifth fret, A7. One strum on the sixth fret, back to the A. Down, 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 up. Ninth fret, 12th fret, 17th fret. Now, the third line, same progression, just A7 progression, the same as the two up here. Here's your third line. I'm gonna play that part again. Now you're gonna go all the way up to the 20th fret on the second string, full step bend. And then you're gonna go to the 19th fret on the third string with your third finger and bring it down. Release to the first finger, 17th fret. And then you're gonna play hammer on pull offs about eight times. So here I'm on the fourth string, 17th and 19th frets with my first finger, hammer on pull offs. Hammer on, pull off with the tip of your finger. You pull off with the tip of that finger. That's gonna sound like. Now we're gonna go up to a D9 shape. Okay, this is a one, four, five progression. So over here with uh, first, second, third, Right there's how you play a D9. Start that on the fifth fret. We don't play the sixth string. Our second finger rules. Here's your chord diagram. We're gonna put our second finger fifth fret, fifth string. First finger's on the fourth fret, fourth string. And with my third finger, I'm barring the first three strings with my third finger. You can strum that three times, down strums, then just move it up the same shape to the sixth fret, which is E flat nine, back there. Now we're gonna go reach with our pinky. This actually makes it a, a D13, but with our pinkies on the uh, seventh fret, first string, seventh fret, sixth uh, fret, first string. Your third finger's already there for the on the fifth fret, first string, and then you're gonna go up, 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 up. So, seventh fret, first string, sixth fret, first string with your pinky. Your third finger's already there for the fifth fret, first string. Then you're gonna go second string, third string, fourth string, then your fifth string. So that's gonna sound like this. Back to that A7 progression. Now we're gonna do hammer on pull offs on the first string, fifth and eighth frets with your first and fourth finger or your first and third. Eight times. Go to the second string, eighth fret. Quick full step bend and then a pull off. That looks just like that in the bottom line. Okay. Back to that progression, which is just like the first one. Two. The hammer on pull offs on the first string. Now we're going to go to an E7 sharp nine. I just did a video on this. I consider that like the ultimate. <laughs> or the greatest rock chord, E7 sharp nine. Everybody knows who made this one famous. Hendrix made that one famous. I think uh, people have been using it before. Harrison was using it a couple years earlier, but people were using that. So that's shaped like this, E7 sharp nine. My second finger is playing Fifth string, seventh fret. First finger's on the fourth string, sixth fret. 
Third finger is going to be on the third string, seventh fret. Fourth finger is on the eighth fret, second string. So you're just going to strum that four times. Back to the D9. Four times. A7 twice. D9. And stop with an A13. Here's an A13 right there. First finger's on that A note, which is the fifth fret, sixth string. Skipping. You can mute it, or in this case, you can play it, but go ahead and mute that fifth string, even though it's an A. Second finger is on the fifth fret, fourth string. Third finger is on that third string, sixth fret. Put your pinky. Seventh fret, second string, A13. So here's the whole thing. Kind of lost my guitar right there, but make sure you do the hammer-on pull-offs on the 17th, 19th frets. To a D9. To E-flat 9 ones. Back to the D9. Big reach with your pinky. Back to that A7 progression. Hammer-on pull-offs. Six string, fifth, fifth and eighth frets. E7 sharp nine. D9. Finish off with the A13. Wanted to give you some, you know, decent challenging chords. If you've never seen these chords before, the seven sharp nine, the nines, the 13th, um, you know, it spices up your playing a lot. And uh, it's just one more step to uh, advancing, improving, um, continuing to grow in your playing. Well, uh, uh, that's it for the this particular video, the slow blues using the half steps. Hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep playing and have fun.